my friends, welcome back to another story in the life of the old time rock and roller. Now today we're starting a brand new segment suggested by one of my subscribers, Cece, and it's called Musical Moments, where I focus on more personal interaction that I had with all of your favorite stars. Today's spotlight is on none other than The Voice, Mr. Steve Perry. Now, many of you know that Steve and I hung out and were friends in the mid-70s, and we recorded two wonderful songs together. So, before I get too far in, please hit the like and the subscribe so you know when the next music moment comes out because next week the spotlight will be on Van Halen. But today, it's all Steve. One of the first things I noticed when we were around the apartment, Steve was a bundle of energy. I mean, he would be always moving. If, if he was singing, he was moving. If he was sitting down look at the lyrics, he'd pick them up and walk around and maybe make a note. In fact, on the song It's Over, he liked it so much, he wrote on there, Hitsville, USA. Now, Steve used to say, if we get a deal with these songs and we go on tour, we're going to take a bus. I hate flying, so if we hit the road, we will be in a tour bus. And I said, brother, that's fine with me. Now, everybody probably knows that Steve comes from a musical family. His father played the drums, and both of his parents encouraged him to pursue his dreams and never stop believing. Now, Steve was an animal lover. He loved dogs. In fact, later in life, he had a pet beagle. Now, Steve's beagle was so pretty, he named her Linda, which in Portuguese means beautiful. Now, Steve's idol was Sam Cooke. And if you ever listen to Sam's version of A Change Is Gonna Come, and then you listen to Steve saying It's Over, for instance, you know that his lyrics came from the heart. And if he felt that song emotionally, it transcended to you, the Steve Perry listener. And I challenge anybody to listen to Sam Cooke, A Change Is Gonna Come, and you leave me a comment. Let me know if you can hear Steve's voice in there. He was a great inspiration to him. Now, Steve also liked Led Zeppelin. In fact, he was a Robert Plant fan. Now, we didn't get too much exercise in those days, but when we did, Steve liked to go swimming. And as far as sports or recreation, he enjoyed fishing. I like fishing too, so we had that in common. Now, as far as the dress code in Hollywood back in the mid-70s, everybody wore jeans and a t-shirt. In fact, Steve always loved to be comfortable. And so many times you'd see him on stage with just jeans, a t-shirt, and tennis shoes. You got to be comfortable when you're performing. It's just that way. Now, when I first went to college, my hair was down to here. And they were building additional buildings next to the main building. And every day I'd walk in and the construction workers would whistle at me and call me cutie. Well, Steve and I were shooting the breeze one time and I told him that story and he said, I hate that. When people call me cutie because of my hair, oh, it enrages me. So it was odd that we both had experienced that, but Rudeness is rudeness is rudeness, and we didn't like it. Now, before Steve developed a taste for vegetarian dishes, he was a regular cheeseburger-eating guy, just like me, and sometimes would go out to Jack in the Box and have a cheeseburger and some fries. Now, I know he liked the people from Texas, because I was from Texas, and later, when he toured with Journey, he used to say, man, those Texas are so nice. So that was pretty cool. Now one thing about Steve, he loves to laugh and he was always cracking up at my jokes. 
I don't know if it was because he felt uncomfortable or he thought they were funny, but he is definitely a happy guy and loves positivity and to laugh like all of us do. Now, this is the end of today's music moment. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to just say one thing. Keep love in your heart, a song in your head, and don't stop believing, my friends. I want to thank thousands of you who took the time to nominate Steve for the Kennedy Center honor. We might not have got it this year, but I spoke to somebody inside of the organization and they were really impressed at the amount of votes that he got. So we're not going to stop until we get him the honor. Scout's honor. Don't stop believing. So long, my friends.